I think it's unbelievable because I'm first girl from Kazakhstan in UFC and uh, it's really unbelievable. I have feeling that I wake up and uh, it's my dream. Just I can't believe, still can't believe. It's a uh, Latin language, it's uh, stars, space, and here dreams come true, like uh, here. I even uh, write on paper and put on wall and then wake up and watch it every day. And uh, I could go into gym, make training, and uh, I do it. <laughs> I was amateur boxer seven years, and I want to be Olympic champion, you know. I want to uh, go to high level, and um, they don't give me opportunity. They just seven years, they using me for camp. They always bring me to camp. I have spar, and they, girls, what I beat up, they they invite them on champion world olympic games everywhere but me not they just keep me uh, on a camp and nothing and i was pissed off and i go into mma and uh, only four years i'm in mma and i go already to high level i'm in ufc already it's very good very good <laughs> get sponsors from kazakhstan they already send me money and uh, now i'm good and uh, they pay now for for my rent, for my food. Uh, they give me money and they pay for everything. And now I'm chill, rest, make my things what I like. Good. After accident, exactly, they send me money. Uh, my teammates start buying my picture. It's first people who support me and start buying my pictures. And uh, yeah, it was amazing. A lot of kind of people. And I'm very grateful for them because now I'm good. Uh, I live in North Kazakhstan, it's Pavlodar, it's a very cold city. And uh, I'm very glad that I'm now in Florida, and here no cold. I not get sick anymore, and I feel good here. <laughs> oh, I just think I come in here on one month. Uh, I think um, my managers get me, and they invite me in America on Dana White Contenders. And they come into Dana White Contenders, I think I do here camp, fight and come back home and I bring with me little things just for one month and after my fights my manager invite me stay and uh, I tell okay and uh, I, I stay here I, I was not ready for this I think I come back but I decide to stay and come into my dream and I stay here and uh, adventures coming <laughs> it was hard first time because first time when i come into america i don't know language i even don't know what's me and what's up i don't know just people everybody what's up what's up what's up I, what do you mean <laughs> i don't understand them and i wanna uh, have a friends i wanna hang out with friends but i don't have a friends and i only uh, have uh, connection with people in gym i talk with people in gym and they come into home and call on phone on my friends in my country. Oh, I feel so alone first time. Sometimes I just sit at home. I, I hate Sunday because on Sunday no training and they just sit at home, be sad. But after I start learning language, get friends. And now I have a lot of friends here. We hang out, everything good. But first time when I move in, it was really hard. Yeah, I just uh, want to uh, have a friends. I watch on uh, my teammates and they are so cool. And I, oh, I want to be friends, but I don't know language. And uh, I start, uh, I meeting with my friends and we start hang out, connect. I come into my coach house and we watch TV. Because my favorite movie, it's an uh, American movie. I, my favorite cartoons, it's Rick and Morty and South Park. And uh, it's from America. And I start watching this movie, uh, the cartoons in original. And uh, Rick and Morty, I saw a lot of time. And I know all about this, they tell in cartoons. And they're just watching in English and learning new words. It's helped me too. And uh, just... Uh, talk with people, watch cartoons, and uh, it's helped me. <laughs>